Come closer, young ones, so I may advise. How many characters from the Cuphead game actually made cameos in the Cuphead show? There are more appearances in this series than we expected, and you probably missed a few. Let's get into it. I'll go with it. Number 1. One of the more obvious cameos in the Cuphead show, aside from our main characters of course, is the lovely octopus-haired giant mermaid, Cala Maria. Cala Maria! Hi! Those who've played the Cuphead game surely know Cala Maria. She was a boss on the high seas hijinks level of the game. In the game, you have to shoot at Cala Maria whenever she pops up out of the sea. In this series, however, she's the Cuphead show's ultimate seductress, winning the hearts of both Briny Beard and Mugman. Ugh. But that doesn't mean she's actually interested in winning hearts. She seems more focused on eating. Romance isn't in the cards right now. But we love a relatable mermaid. <laughs> Number two, Captain Brinybeard is another famous boss from the Cuphead game. Yet instead of fighting him from the dock while Brinybeard is on his ship like he does in the game, in the series Cuphead is more of a fan of Brinybeard than a foe. <laughs> Yay! He goes from helping him on his quest to really defending him. Even though Brinybeard didn't get the girl in the end, at least he made friends along the way. Number 3. Captain Crustacean is a really funny looking giant lobster who you'll have to fight if you venture into the perilous piers level of Cuphead. You'll have to have quite the eagle eye to spot this lobster in the series though. He's just in the background working on a boat in Season 2 when Cuphead and Mugman are about to board Captain Brinybeard's ship. Wow, Captain Crustacean must have been working out since we last saw him. We don't remember him being that buff in the game. Number 4. When you first spot Hildeberg in the Cuphead game, she's perched on a cloud. She then turns into a blimp. Since Hilda is such a well-known and classic Cuphead character, many fans of the game have wished that her presence in the series would have been more than just the super short cameo that it was. We think though that this was a perfectly fitting appearance. She appears briefly in Season 2 in her blimp form, flying in the sky overhead and cackling maniacally. Cuphead, Mugman, and Miss Chalice wave high at her from their car below, and in that moment all seems right in the Cuphead world. <laughs> that was swell! Number 5. Goopy Legrand is another boss you're sure to run into if you play the Cuphead game. If you're thinking that you didn't catch Goopy Legrand in the Cuphead show though, don't worry, you're definitely not alone. Goopy didn't make a cameo in the obvious ways some others did, but that doesn't mean he isn't there. He actually makes an appearance in the theme sequence, where his face is on a headstone, like it is in some parts of the game. In this case though, he looks pretty mad. Number 6. Ludwig was a kind of cute little grumpy gramophone headed guy in the Cuphead game. He looked very different when he made a cameo in Season 2 of the Cuphead show. Eh, I got crawdads to catch. But despite his extreme makeover, he played a main character in the episode Piano Lesson. Just release the tension in your hands. Number 7. Cyclops is a sub-boss from Cuphead's Rugged Ridge level, and she's known for being invincible. But according to the Cuphead show season 2, she's not actually that invincible, since she managed to land herself in jail. Sorry Cyclops, but if you can't do the time, don't chase after innocent little cups. Well, mostly innocent little cups. Nah, I don't want to hear another void. Number 8. Baroness Von Bonbon is the primary boss of Cuphead's Sugarland Shimmy level. She's known for her castle that just so happens to be alive and goes by the name of Whippet Cream Pup, as well as her demeanor and appearance that seems utterly sweet in more ways than one, but is actually really, really scary. You got a real creepy way about you, lady. Well, Baroness Von Bonbon taught us to never judge a boss by its cover, and her role in season two of the Cuphead show solidifies this. She turned out to be just as scary as ever. Number nine. Sally's stage play only made a short cameo in the Cuphead Season 2. Oh, do excuse me. But fans of the game were happy to see her nevertheless. Game players fight Sally's stage play in the dramatic fanatic level of the game. If you had trouble beating her in the game and still harbor a little resentment, you're in luck. Cuphead gets his revenge in the Cuphead show. With the help of Mugman and Miss Chalice, he scams her. It's the perfect scam! Number 10. Werner Vermin is a very battle-ready rat from the Marine Corps level of Cuphead. The name is Werner Vermin. He got his own episode in Season 2 of the Cuphead show. Interestingly though, in the game, Werner was much, much bigger than Cuphead, and in the series, he's more rat-sized. If Cuphead and Mugman are human-sized, that is. If Cuphead is cup-sized, then Werner is actually super small. 
Wow, this is getting confusing. Number 11. The Devil Makes More Than Just a Quick Cameo in the Cuphead Show. Hello. <laughs> this was really no surprise since he's the primary antagonist in the game and now also the series. The Devil appeared quite a bit in both seasons 1 and 2, and while he had some very funny scenes, the Devil definitely lived up to his name and proved himself as the biggest villain in the Cuphead universe. Major spoiler alert, he abducted poor Mugman and took him to hell. Goodbye to Cuphead. <laughs> and we have to admit, we're pretty worried about Mugman. He has way too much anxiety for hell. Number 12. In the game, King Dice is the devil's sidekick of sorts, and as such, he is one of the most difficult bosses to beat. Because of his prominent position in the game, it's fitting that he's also had quite a large role in the series compared to some of the other bosses. Who's the host with the most, hmm? You can see him in both season 1 and 2. Number 13. Ribby and Croaks are the final bosses you'll encounter on Inkwell Isle 1 in the Cuphead game. Since they're a particularly important and classic pair of bosses, it makes sense that, like King Dice, Ribby and Croaks appear in both seasons of the Cuphead show. Cover charge, 20 bucks. The froggy pair plays a pretty large role in Season 1, but if you blink you could miss them in Season 2. You can see them seesawing in Season 2, and it's really nice to see these two tough guys are getting along these days. Number 14. Things are looking grim. Grim Matchstick is the dragon boss who you encounter if you ever play the fiery frolic level of Cuphead. This dragon, or should we say dragons, appears in Season 1 to retrieve their baby, or should we say babies. Life must be so confusing when you have three heads. Number 15. Sergeant Gumbo Gumball is an anthropomorphic gumball machine. He comes from Baroness Von Bonbon's Sugarland shimmy level in the game, and he makes a subtle cameo in Season 1. When Miss Chalice uses a gumball machine, it comes to life, and we know exactly who that is. Nice try hiding there, Gumbo. Number 16. The Root Pack is, per their name, a pack of root vegetables. The group is composed of a potato named Sal Sputter, an onion who goes by the name of Ollie Bulb, and Chauncey Chantanay, who's a carrot who just so happens to have a hidden third eye. That's some real plant-based nightmare fuel. Together, the group makes up the boss you must beat in the Botanic Panic level of Cuphead. And they also have plenty of screen time in Season 1 of the Cuphead Show. <laughs> Number 17. Good old Pork Rind. He's the owner of the shop aptly named Pork Rind's Emporium in the Cuphead game, where players can exchange the coins they've collected for gear and weapons. It's good to see this familiar face along with his shop in the series, because it helps to flesh out the idea that Inkwell Isle is a real place with consistent establishments between the game and the series. Did you spot all those cameos in the Cuphead show? Were there any sneaky appearances that you caught that we didn't mention? We want to hear all about it in the comments. And if you love videos like this, remember to like and subscribe to The Things Animated for more videos about all your animated favorites.